This video will give a brief overview of my drone and then I'll look specifically into the ESC, Electronic Speed Controller, which I think is the most interesting part about the drone because it explains how a lot of other things work as well, like a drill for example, anything that has a motor that's electric, it explains how it works. So this video has a very specific team. It's just me talking about ESC for the next 10-15 minutes. Uh, building this drone was a painful experience. I hated it. There's so much new things that you have to figure out. All, how all of the parts fit together and you buy the parts but you don't know if they really fit together. Ah, it was just horrible. So, all right, we're inside the drone. This is the main part of the drone, the flight controller. Um, it's the brain of the drone. And this is the camera which I, I get the video from in my goggles. This is the VTX. This is the VTX sending the signal back to my goggles and then there's the there's the connection to the radio these two antennas here uh, send the signal or they receive the signal from my joystick or from the from the controller and then of course this is the motors with the ESC controlling the motors now okay let's just jump right into it a lot of the things uh, a lot of the things to understanding a drone is that you need to understand the power lines that's, that's going into this. So we have the battery, this is where it all starts. Uh, this is a 4S battery, that's 16.8 volts. And uh, you plug it in and then the power, the 16.8 volts, goes into this board distributing out the power. So one of you just need to figure out how much how much your different things need like this camera uh, it runs on 9 volts so you find a pin here that runs on 9 volts and for the VTX for example uh, runs on 5 it runs on 5 volts you find a pin that runs that uh, gives out 5 volts and it's the same with uh, this one it uh, needs 5 volts to run so that's th this this board distributes the power you just need to know how you connect them and then it's the the ESC the the power that goes into these there it's the same power that comes from the batteries it's, you got some thicker cords here because there's more voltage here it's, this is the 16.8 voltage going into an EC, ESC electronic speed controller Let's just open this up. All right, so this is the ESC. You have the power coming in here, the plus and the minus, and the signal coming in. And I thought it was the same thing on the other side. You have three cords. I thought one was plus and one was minus, and the other was 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 signal. Uh, but it's it's not. Someone was telling me that if you just uh, switch any two of these. The motor would spin the other way, uh, which was very difficult. To, I didn't understand that. I thought you have to change the plus and the minus cord, and then it would run the other way. But these are not plus and minuses. These are something else. They they are all uh, running on power, but there's no there's not. This, it's not DC. This, it looks more like AC power than, than DC power. And there's no engine, there's no motor, rotating motor in the world that can run on DC power. Whatever comes into a motor has to be something else than DC. It has to be uh, uh, some sort of sinus uh, wave. That's, that's how you control it. And and the te technology in this motor is the same 
that you will find in an electric car or in an electric kick scooter uh, or in a drill anything anything that that's turning um, around like this if you would put power if you connect power to these windings you you will create a magnetic field so you, you let's say you have the the north pole here and on the other side you'll get the south pole and then then you need to change to the next one so this will be the north pole and this will be the south pole and then it just continues like north pole north pole north pole, north pole south pole south pole and then so that's what's making that's what's pushing and pulling the propellers the making this spin around it's because it's changing all all the time so for for instance uh let's say you put this is the north pole now and if you if you put dc power into this circuit this this would be the north pole and this would be the south pole and it, it would just stay like that it was just a constant north and south pole um, but what's happening here is uh, it changes so you have you have this is the north pole but in a few microseconds later the other side will be the north pole so and then this will be the south pole so that just tells you that it can't be there, it can't be DC power coming in. There has to be something that's changing to the opposite. So, so let me get the thing. How does DC? How does DC power look? This this is what DC power looks like. It's just a constant, constant power that's being pushed out. We know that the the motor. It, it doesn't need DC power, it needs something else. So that's the job of the ESC. It controls, it manipulates this signal to become something else. And let me, let me just show you how the signal looks like. This is what the signal actually looks like. These are three different chords. These are three different chords here. And this is what the signal looks like inside of them. So let's just take one one of them and see how it works. You have you have the start of the you have the start of the signal. It pushes out 16.8 voltage, and then it manipulates the signal going down to about zero volt voltage, and then you're on the minus minus 16.8 voltage. Now the north pole is on the other side, and then it changes up again till till um, being plus 16.8 voltage. And you can see that all of the three different chords, they have, it's the same signal, but it starts at different times. So let's say this, this is now the plus. So this is the North Pole. And here on the other, on the other signal, this is the, this is the minus. And uh, this is in a changing position. And then the next one, this is plus, this is the minus, and and this is the it, it's on the changing from minus to plus. So it, it's it sort of goes like this. You have um, high, high, and then it's changing. It's off. It's going to low, low, and then off. And if you look across all of the three different chords there's always one high low and off and then the next split second it's a high low and off and and high low and off so it's constant it's always one of one of each and um, let's just, if you just look into one of these chords you have a signal that is the power is going in one direction and then in a split second, second later it, the power is going, going in the other direction and everything is going really really fast. Um, so when someone told me someone told me that if you change any of these chords then the motor would spin the other way and how, how does it how does it do that? Well 
let's say you have the motor here. Let's say you have the motor here. And to make it a little bit simple, you have you have three, you have three of the spinning things. These are your th three cords. So you you start with the first one and you send power to it. So let's say it's this is the first one, this is the second, and this is the third. So then you ha would have a motion going like this. If this is the first, second, third, and it continues like that all, all around like that. So, but then in the next, if you change any of the th two chords, let's say you change this one and this one, well, then the first first thing was it started with this one. Now instead of this one going up, it's the other one. So it's one, two, three, and then the motor will spin the other way. Now, so that's why if you change, so that's the reason if you change any of the, these three chords, the motor will spin the other way. Now. Today you can just do it in software, that's what I did, but you could do it like that. Let's continue down this path of exploring the ESC. Uh, so it, it, the ESC receives this signal, 16.8 voltage, and it manipulates it. How does it do that? How can it manipulate this signal to becoming something more like a like a sinus wave. Well, the ESC can't just create anything, but the ESC can, what it can do is to turn the power on and off. It has that ability to, to, to turn it on and off. So it can use that ability to make these waves. So uh, it's, this is something called post, oh, fuck, post width modulation. Yeah, what a beautiful writing you got there. Wow. Okay. So let's say that it turns it turns the motor off 50% of the time. This is this is in this time frame. Then you have you have still the, the tops of 16.8 voltage, but it's off half of the time. So the average voltage of this is half of 16.8 it's it's 50 percent now this is the this is how it evens out and let's say if it was less let's say if it's on uh, like uh, just 10 percent if it's on it's on 10 percent this is the 10 percent then this is something like from here there's almost no power this is the average voltage so it would it starts at ten percent, and it was it would go up to to fifty percent again over here. So that's how you that's how it manip this this is how it manipulates the signal, just turning it off and on and off and off really fast. And so this is very interesting, I think, because it it can do anything with with this um, the input. And also, it's also on the minus side. How is that possible to be, to have minus sixteen point eight voltage? Uh, well, it uses something called age bridge to to um, to make it on the minus side. But all it means is that all it means is that the power is going the other way. So instead of the power going through in here and out this cord, it goes. The other way, so it goes in here and out this cord. So, so that's that's basically it. So you can see the post width modulation here. Here is just on all the time, but this is where the post mod with modulation sets in, turning it on and off. And on the minus side, it uses an age bridge to get on the minus side, and then the post with modulation keeping it uh, on the minus and it goes up to to just staying open the battery from the the power from the battery is just going through this 
And all of this is going really, really fast. So this signal is, these three signals is what's inside these three chords all the time. The only thing that's changing is the, the frequency, how fast they are going through. If, if you squeeze them in, sending them through faster, the motor will spin faster. If you, if you drag the signal out, it will slow down. And that's the only difference, but this is the signal is being repeated over and over again. I think I said pulse, post with modulation. It's, it's pulse, pulse with modulation. So that's, that's why I thought it was so interesting because now we know this, this has a motor, it's electric, it has well, it's got DC power here, but then we know it has to have an ESC, which uses post with modulation to regulate the speed. And when I'm changing the direction from forward to backward, it uses age bridge to, to change it. That was it. Thanks for watching. Take it away. Paul Plus, he uh, plays the song of Manchester.